Actually, orchids are possibly the, I believe they are, but I will say possibly the largest family grouping of flowers in the world. But they're very specialized plants and they're not easy to find and they require really special conditions to grow in. Oh guys, where are you? Hmm. I hope that's not where they are. Oh, oh yes it is! Holy, holy smokes! Boy did it just miss them. There they are. This is called the showy orchis, spelled I-S instead of orchid, but it is an orchid. Um, I don't want to step too far into there. What makes orchids special is their seeds don't have any endosperm, the food source that feeds the seed. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you can buy whole wheat germ, which is the wheat, what they call the wheat berry, you know, the seeds from wheat. And then you can buy wheat germ, which is the outer, uh, or which is the, uh, um, the part that actually becomes the wheat plant. And then the endosperm is the food. So most of a seed is make, made up of endosperm to feed that, uh, the germplasm in there. Orchids do not have the food source with their seeds. They make seeds that are so fine, they're like, finer than dust, basically. Wow. And a plant like this will probably make a million seeds. And they're very fine, so they're airborne, but because they don't have a food source, they actually have to land in the woods on a spot where the right fungus already grows. Because what happens, those seed, when those seeds land in a spot with the correct fungus, that fungus immediately attaches itself to the seed. And when it attaches itself to the seed, it actually feeds the seed so that wow. the orchid can grow. Okay. So the key to it is that the fungus has to be there, which means the conditions have to be right for the fungus. And fungus can be pretty fussy about where they grow as well. They have to have all the right nutrients, you know, a little bit of chemical imbalance and the fungus won't grow there. And there are hundreds and hundreds of types of fungus. So, and we don't, I, have, I do not know whether they have determined yet, you know, what specific fungus this grows with, or whether maybe there's a couple that it mm. grows with. But that's how it works. Millions of particulate seeds that just scatter all over the place, and a few of those seeds may land on a spot where the fungus is. The fungus grabs hold, nourishes the seed, and you get an orchid plant. So yeah. this is the this is our prettiest orchid. The old name for this, when the Painter Brothers were here and actually on up into the early 1900s, they used to call this the Adam and Eve orchid. I've not ever seen any reason behind that. But there, you know, the um, scientific name for it is Galliaris spectabilis, as in spectacular. And, you know, they're really, they're very lovely. So, yeah, that one just escaped the log falling on it, and the log probably rolled over it even. Um, there and there are more in here. They're really hard to find, you know. I know where that one is, and it's a case of stumbling along, and, you know, it's here somewhere. And, but, yeah, there, there are more in here. I found them years ago. I looked the next year and didn't find them. Orchids have been known to take years off. They'll come up and they'll, they'll flower for a while. You'll get used to seeing them and depending you know, on oh, we'll always find it there and you go out one year and they're just not there they just finally just said i'm taking a vacation and they don't come above ground and they may spend a decade before they surface come back up above the surface again so these are one of the more dependable orchids